This tutorial is going to be for a tetrahedron shape. It's made with six subunits and uses a total of two thirds of a set of magnets or 144 magnets. To start, you want to count 12 magnets and make a ring. And when you put that down and pinch it into an oval shape like this, pinch two opposing corners and push it together and you'll get this square. Now, just to be quick, you can wrap six rings, just like that, and put them all down. Break it apart and put them all down, and make sure that none of them get flipped over the wrong way like that. So you break it off and put them down in the same way. And you wanna pinch these all into that square shape. Like that. When you've done this, you want to take each one and between each of the each pair of corners add three magnets and it'll look like this. And you want to go around and do that to each side, and you'll end up with this kind of wavy square. When you have all six of these done, if you take two opposite sides and pinch them together, it's easier to do this on a table. Um, I'll try and get this. You want to just pinch two edges together like this until you end up with this kind of shape. And you want to do that with all six. Then when you have all six of these, you want to take pick up two and connect the corners and then add another one like this. And you want to bend them back like so. Then for this corner and this corner, you want to connect another of these subunits. And between each pair, you want to go around and add it. Add another one on until you have all six connected like this. And then you can connect all of these together. And you'll end up with this kind of bubbly, flexible tetrahedron shape. And if you look at one edge, you can push like this, the edges in and connect them together. And you wanna do this for all six. Then at each point, so you can see there's four points, you want to pinch these magnets together and you'll get a triangle of nine magnets with a hexagon in the middle. And you want to go around and do that for all four. Just like that. And this is the final shape. It's quite rigid and can be made uh, quite large, although it does get a bit more tricky to assemble at larger sizes. All you have to do is at the start, instead of making a ring of 12, you can make it a bigger number as long as it's a multiple of four. And if you make four of these, you can connect them just like this and put this last one on top. And you'll have this little pyramid of tetrahedra, which I think looks quite nice. I'll try to get a good shot of it for you. As you can see, it does look quite nice, but each tetrahedron separately takes two thirds of a set. So um, this shape would take exactly two, four, six, eight, two and two thirds of a set of magnets. If my math is right there, I'll make sure and I'll put it the correct number in the description. Thank you for watching.